diamonds in the rough. NFL Draft Diamonds. Time to shine. Hi, I'm Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds, and today I have with me Kyron Sutton, who's a wide receiver at McNeese State. How you doing, sir? How you doing? I'm fine, yourself? I'm great. Uh, it looks like we have a family-friendly show today. Can you introduce the little one? This is Zoe Sutton, my daughter. She's one years old. Awesome, awesome. Well, um, cool. Maybe we can get her in this interview. She'll probably end up stealing the show. Hopefully. Uh, cool. Well, uh, Kyron, uh, can you just uh, give me a brief summary of your overall career? So I started at Lake Area High School. Um, it's a pretty fairly new school. New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, you know, lightly recruited. Um, you know, didn't didn't have too many people talk to me. Um, recruited by Tulane, Louisiana College. You know, had some contact with Texas A&M. I mean, he finally found me. I called it home. Um, had a pretty good college career. Well, it's not over yet, but it's going good, and I got to make the best out of it next year. So, hopefully, we'll have a good one. Cool. I mean, you know, this past season was actually, uh, you know, pretty good for you. I mean, you ended up with, uh, you know, 950 yards, receiving nine touchdowns on 67 receptions. Um, Kyron, you're also on special teams as a returner. So, I mean, you've, you've got uh, really a, a lot that, to offer a team in that regard. Um, what do you believe is the best part about your game? Um, I'll say – I'm a speed speed receiver, so I'll say my speed, you know, decision making, IQ, and elusiveness. Cool. And you know, what kind of receiver are you? Are you uh, just a speed guy? Are you an outside slot? You know, what describe exactly what kind of a wide receiver you are on the field? I'd say athletic receiver. Um, I can go anywhere, play in a position. I can do anything: jump balls, we, um, you know, so possession catches, etc. I'm elusive also, so I can play the slide, running back, one-on-one uh, -on -one possession, whatever. Cool. And, um, you know, I was, I was going to ask you, um, do you have any sort of, um, I don't know, interesting game day ritual that you do, like, uh, you know, before a game? Yeah. Um, so I drink a Sprite before every game. It's just it's my sugar rush. Cool. Well, I mean, everybody's got to, you know, get their little sugar rush. For you, it's your Sprite. For me, it's my sweet tea. So we're all good. Um, well, um, I was going to ask you to, like, because I've asked this question to a lot of different wide receivers. Um, do you see yourself as a as a diva? No, not at all. Okay. But what about, like, as a trash talker? Do you see yourself as a trash talker? 100%. I, I trash talk nonstop. All 60 minutes. All all right, so all 60 minutes. Well, give me an example of maybe one, one particular game where, like, you were just on it, like, all game long. Give me an example of that. Okay, um, I'll think about Central Arkansas. We played the very first possession, you know, second, second play of the drive. They were in a man look, so we called a play called New Anthony. So I just run a fade, and I'm telling them before the route, I'm about to run a fade. He don't know what I'm on the run. He think I'm playing, so I ran a fade and I caught it. And as I scored, I was like, "You can't guard me." So later on in that game, uh, I had a, a, a screen to wheel route. And I caught another pass over his head, and I'm constantly chirping at him, "You can't guard me!" Like tell your coach, tell you out, just talking. So you basically showed him up. So yeah. uh, cool. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, I I realize that you have. Um, really a uh, great speed I mean uh, when you were in high school I mean I realized that you were a track athlete as well as a basketball player um, can you uh, just briefly describe uh, you know your history there in those sports and maybe how those um, experiences have helped you on the football field yeah so um, you know learning track and praising track it got me very conditioned for football you know just working on speed and agility etc Basketball helps me with hand-eye coordination, you know, uh, releases, and just playing together as a team. Cool. Uh, you know, in my notes, I have that you um, 
you know, we're able to run a 200 meter in less than 23 seconds, which is uh, really good. And also, um, you know, on the basketball field, I mean, you were named all district, all metro, you know, you, you could basically, uh, you basically did a whole lot on the basketball field um, or court. And quite honestly, I feel like maybe if you were a few inches taller, like you'd be playing basketball somewhere. Like, I don't know, who knows? Right. But, um, but yeah, man. Uh, hey, uh, I was going to ask you uh, if you had the opportunity to give your younger self, you know, a little bit of advice, uh, you know, what would you tell him? You know, basically if you, you were able to go back and talk to maybe, I don't know, like your 16, 17, maybe 18 year old self. Well, I'll definitely tell him, you know, stay focused, stay healthy, condition, you know, work hard, et cetera. Um, and always play as a team and trust your team. And also I'll tell him eat healthy. <laughs> cool. So uh, eat healthy, you know, not too much junk food. I mean, yeah. I think that I think that when we're teenagers, we can get away with it, but certainly not <laughs> now as you're uh, approaching, um, you know, maybe perhaps, you know, being a professional athlete here soon. So I mean, definitely uh, laying off the – the junk. I don't know how you would describe that, but uh, yeah, I, I, I definitely hear you there. Um, Kyron, there have been a lot of people that have helped mold and shape you over the years. Um, talk to me a little bit about some of the coaches that, been, that have been a part of your life um, that maybe have just taught you a lesson that uh, just still sticks with you today. Yes, sir. Um, you got Derek Lewis, you know, my uh, track coach, basketball coach, football coach. He's the reason I'm playing football now. Um, you got Sterling Fleming. He's also another reason I'm, you know, where I'm at today. You know, he took me in, helped me out, you know, just next make sure I'm staying focused in football and school. You got Kerry Joseph, who's a great father figure and, you know, a great mentor. You also have Dennis Smith, who offered me. So I thank both, I thank all them guys for the opportunity that they give me. Cool. And you know, and you had already, uh, I guess, talked to me a little bit about a, a particular play uh, that you know, kind of demonstrated you like as, uh, as really a trash talker. But I was also going to ask you if there's any other play that, um, you know, you wanted to talk about. I mean, just looking back at last year, for example, uh, you know, you were really able to just have a, a, a great game against Sam Houston State. I mean, you had 160 yards receiving on them. Is, is there a particular play, you know, maybe from that game or any other game that uh, you wanted to share? Yes, sir. Um... I'll say it was the third drive of the game. And we we say that we're in man, a man defense. So we just wanted to take advantage of him and expose him. So I had a, a young guy on me. And I'm like, you know, <laughs> give me the ball. He's not going to be able to hold me. So I ran another screen wheel kind of route, take it to the house. And him and his buddies were chasing me. They wouldn't catch me. Cool. Well, I mean, again, we've already talked about the fact that your speed and separate and willing you know ability to separate really you know makes you a special player um Kyron uh give me your why you know why do you play football well my why would definitely be my daughter and my family um I just want to provide for my family just so I can get them out you know the, the situation they're in now um you know some tough times back then but just gotta keep playing and keep providing Cool. Well, I mean, it looks like right now she's in good shape. So uh, no. I think she completely out. Um, hey, man, as we uh, as we wrap things up, give me your final pitch to a professional team. And so, you know, why should they sign you, draft you, bring you into their team? What do you bring as a teammate? I mean, I'm a, I'm a great teammate. So um, anything the team needs, I'm with it. I'm for it. Um, you know, just always willing to help the team play any position, do anything that they need to do. Cool. I mean, again, we kind of already talked a little bit about what you bring to uh, a, a team. Um, you know, obviously great speed. Um, you know, you, you're you basically in a position where uh, you could be the, the inside slot receiver, or I could just put you on the outside and just say, hey, man, uh, go for, a, you know, do a go route or do a fade and just kind of completely outrun guys. And, and of yeah. course you have the ability to play special teams as a returner um, and also a gunner. So, um, you know, obviously when you move on to the next level, um, special teams is really going to be key in order for you to, um, you know, potentially make a team. So, uh, yeah. 
Kyron, this has been great um, getting to know you, uh, seeing your beautiful daughter kind of just sitting there taking a nap, making me want to take a nap myself. But um, no, man, it's been good. Uh, I definitely believe that uh, you are one of the wide receivers that uh, guys really need to pay attention to. I mean, um, obviously we're all praying for football in the fall, but, you know, uh, again, I, I do believe that you have some potential and people need to, uh, you know, keep you on their radar. Yeah, I'm ready to give it. Uh, cool. Again, this is uh, Kyron Sutton. He is a wide receiver out of McNeese State. Uh, just keep an eye on him. He's, great things uh, are going to happen here soon. Thank you, Kyron. Thank you.